enjoyed listening to that story about Paul in prison. Well, guess what? We're going to make a prison out of a box today, which I think you'll have a lot of fun making. So here is one we made earlier. So here is the jailer. Can you see? Here is the prison and here are the gates of the prison and you can make the earthquake happen and boom, the doors go down. Inside you can see the stocks. I'll bring them out. And out come Paul and Silas. And they can say, hello jailer, everything's well. Let's come and meet your family. So this is what we're going to make. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, let me put those back. Right. Come, you come round here, David. You'll see what we need to make. These are all the things that we um, do require. So if I turn it round, you can see it better. Obviously, you need some scissors. You need a small box. So here I've got a, a Amazon one, or you could use a shoe box. I've got a little bit of brown paper which I have already cut just to cover over the top and the back of the box. And I've drawn on the prison doors which we're gonna cut out. This strip of cardboard is going to be cut in half and attached to the doors so you can have the earthquake, as in that. You've got, uh, you're gonna make your little men out of the middle part of egg boxes, so I only need three of those. I'll cut those in a minute. I folded a piece of card in half to draw on the stocks like that. I've drawn round a print stick on some plain card to make the heads which you can um, draw faces on to put in there for the people and I've got a nice thick felt pen to draw my lines for the doors and you can write on it prison or whatever you like or draw some um, tiles or bricks around it. I've got some um, bright pens to just colour the bodies of the little men and a fine pen just to draw faces on, but you can use whatever you like for that. So, first of all, I'll just cut my doors out. Okay, so you cut them right out. Nice thick pen so you know where you're cutting. You might need your parents or carers to help you with this one. Depends on how old you are and how good you are with scissors. Right, there we are, there's our prison. Okay, so just to cover up all the mess on top, going to get a print stick and oh, I've got some lots of lovely glue all over the top and over the back. I'm just going to cover over that writing just so we could maybe decorate it and we'll tuck it around the back look, tuck it underneath and that looks a little bit better doesn't it, like a building. So what we could do there make it a bit like a roof and the time of Paul they all had flat roofs that they used to sometimes sleep on at night when it was very hot so you could sort of draw on a top for it I don't know the prison was probably quite deep and dark so maybe it wasn't really like that but you could put some tiles you could do whatever you like to decorate your box so I'm going to pretend the prison has a roof and some tiles on the top Okay, and I'm going to write prison on the top of the door lintel. So we know exactly what, where we at, where we're at. Now our door, I'm just actually going to cut two doors. Put a, like a handle on one. Maybe some hinges. Maybe, so, oh actually I could turn it over, couldn't I? Could look, it's clear on that side. Let's do that again. So, um, a handle and hinges and some bars because this was a prison. There's the hinges, there's the catch, some more prison bars that they had to look through to say what's going on outside. Right, so here's my piece of card to make the little part like that. So I'm going to cut this in half. And I'm just going to sellotape it on at the base of my door. Like that. So you can sellotape it. If you've got some really good glue, you could try gluing it, but our glue is a bit old. So I'm just going to sellotape that on. Like that. 
you could put a bit extra on. Same on the other side. That's the right way round. Let me tape it on so you can make your own earthquake. Hopefully that will look like a set of prison doors. Yep, yeah, there we go. Lovely. Right, so we've got our prison. Now Paul and Silas were put in the stocks, which is basically some rings where you put your legs through and you were tied in. It can't be very nice. So let's draw some stocks on our piece of card. Have a look at my picture. I've got two people, two holes for the legs, and a line down the middle. So they could just pretend to be our stock. So you can put them inside and then bring them out later on in the story. Here's our men. So I need three, don't I? I need one for the jailer, one for Paul, and one for Silas. So I'm going to cut three of those. I'm also going to cut a very small slit in the top for the head to rest on. Again, you might need your parent or your carer just to help you with this wee bit. It's a little bit fiddly. There we are. From there. Hmm. Yeah. There. And the third one's the same. Here's our heads that I cut out for that piece of card. I use thin card for that. So you might want to put Paul's face, eyebrow, eyes, nice smile, and a big smile because he's, he's out of prison. Some hair, a moustache, and lots of men in that time had beards. And you want to colour your card as well. And there's your, your man. Okay, so I'd do the same for the other two as well, but we won't do it all because we're going to get short of time otherwise. So you are, there you are, you got your prison, your doors that you're going to shake for the earthquake, Boop. and then your stocks, and you're going to have two men inside, and then one on the outside who's going to be the jailer. And when the doors open, Paul and Silas can walk out and be free. Have fun!